Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to approximate the definite integral using Riemann right hand sum. So we were given integral 2 to 6 x square plus 1 by x minus 1 dx. This function x square plus 1 by x minus 1 looks little complex to integrate. Yeah, of course there are many methods to compute this integral and get the exact value. Uh, but let us say you are writing a competitive exam and in that there is a question like this and options are like uh, let's say 19.4, 23.2, 30.5 and 10. Then in this case you don't need to find the accurate answer, right? You can actually approximate this integral. So in those situations this Riemann sums come in handy. Okay, let us try to approximate this integral using Riemann right hand sum. Now, let us consider f of x is equal to x square plus 1 by x minus 1 and interval to be 2 to 6. Now we can see that x0 will be equal to 2 and xn will be equal to 6. But we have uh, given that n is equal to 4, that means our xn will be x4. So we can divide our interval into sub-intervals uh, like this, uh, f2 is equal to x1, which will be less than x1, less than x2, less than x3, less than x4, which will be 6. As we can see here, x0 is 2 and x4 is 6, then I can clearly see that x1 uh, is 3, x2 is 4 and x3 is 5. Therefore, our subintervals will look like this 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 4 comma 5 and 5 comma 6 so our interval 2 to 6 can be divided into subintervals 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 so 4 inter 4 subintervals also if you observe here the length of each interval is 1 that is delta xi which is xi minus xi minus 1 is 1 for all the intervals for i 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now that we have all the required values are ready, we are ready to compute Riemann right hand sum, which will be equal to summation i is equal to 1 to 4 f of xi times delta xi. So, if I expand this, I will get f of x1 times delta x1, delta x1 is 1 plus f of x2 times delta x2 which is also 1 and f of x3 times delta x3 is 1 plus f of x4 times 1. So now f of x1 is nothing but f of 3, so x1 is 3 here, similarly f of x2 is f of 4 plus f of 5 f of 6. So, this will be equal to f of 3 will be equal to 3 square plus 1 by 3 minus 1 because f of x is x square plus 1 by x minus 1. Just substituting 3 in place of x. 3 square plus 1 by 3 minus 1. Plus 1. Similarly, 4 square plus 1 by 4 minus 1. 5 square plus 1 by 5 minus 1. Plus 6 square plus 1 by 6 minus 1. For the simplifying, we get 3 square plus 1 is 10 by 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 4 square plus 1 is 17, 4 minus 1 is 3 plus 5 square plus 1 is 26 by 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 6 square, 6 square plus 1 is 37 by 5. So, this will be equal to 5, 10 by 2 is 5, and 17 by 3 is approximately 5.67. And 26 by 4 is equal to 6.5 and 37 by 5 is equal to 7.4. We add all this, we get 24.57. Right? Therefore, the Riemann right hand sum will be equal to 24.57. Hence, we can say that integral 2 to 6 x square plus 1 by x minus 1 dx can be approximated to summation i is equal to 1 to 4 f of f of xi times delta xi. This value we just found it out 
which is 24.57 which is approximately 24.6 units come. so we are not worried about the units here so okay now that we got 24.6 we can we have options like 19.4 23.2 something like and there is another option 10 and 35.5 sum so now you can see that our right hand sum is 24.6 so basically our right hand sum uh, will come nearer to the exact value so as we have taken only four four intervals we got 24.6 as we increase the number of intervals we will approach to 23.2 and you can directly click on 23.2 okay now quickly let us see this in GeoGebra and visualize okay if you see here f of x is equal to x square plus 1 by x minus 1 this is how the graph looks near the points 2 to 6 so we are computing the right hand sum by taking 4 intervals these are our intervals 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 so if we compute the right hand sum that is equal to, uh, approximately equal to 24.6 so let us see the exact sum also Okay, so, so the exact sum is 23.2. So you can also compute this integral, you can you will get 23.2. Thank you.